Hi there, and uh, welcome to the next poem. We're going to be looking at Stan Op. And um, just to let you know also that all our books are now available at CNA. So you can grab all the books at CNA. And that is, that is big news for us uh, moving forward. Um, the Forgotten's Made Simple, this one you would be familiar with. There's the Great Six and Seven book. Uh, there's the Cheat Sheets. Uh, then there's the, the relatively new one, Kort for Alle Gedichte, Opsomings and Begripstutsa. So uh, if you're struggling with any of those things, you don't have to struggle, just get the, get the books. Cool. Let us look at uh, the poem Stan Op. It's, you, just as usual, we have the, the poem here, and then we have the English translation there, and then we have some interpretations, some notes there. This is the one that will be really valuable to you. Always please check it with your teacher. Um, add it to your, your class notes and use it as revision. Share it with your friends and other schools. Stan op. Okay, stan op as jy ooit, al ooit alleen was. Stand up if you've ever been alone. Okay, you'll see there, stand up, stan op. There's an exclamation mark, just like the title. And you'll see there, this thing gets repeated over over and over again stand up stand up like a protest okay stand up if you've ever been alone or lonely stand up as you wait for if you've ever been mocked because you said how you really feel that look full stand up if you've been mocked when you have said what you really feel um stand up as you wait for it that niemand van jou sal hou as hulle jou werkelijk ken nie. Um, stand up if you ever thought that nobody would like you van jou sal hou, niemand van jou sal hou, if they really knew you. Okay, we'll look at the meanings just now, remember. Stand up if you've ever felt rejected for verb okay omdat jy te vet te maar te lelik te dot 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 was okay if you've been if you're too fat too skinny too ugly etc in other words uh, stand up if you've ever felt that way stand up as jy al ooit daar gedink het om iets aan yourself to do to so stand up if you've ever thought of, gedenke, thought of, doing something to yourself. Okay, now the interesting word there is on, which gives it a double meaning in Afrikaans. We'll so look at that just now. Stand up as you think there is net donker in the toekomst. There is only, net is only, eh? only dark in the future. Is if the future is dark. If you think the future is dark, stand up. Stand up. As jy per ty keer nie antwoorde het op jou vraag nie. If you sometimes don't have answers to your questions. Stand up. Okay, stand up. As jy ooit jou pijn vir ander mense moes wegsteek. If you ever had your hide, your pain, wegsteek, hide, hide your pain from other people. Okay. You need to stand up. Stand up. As you think you are not unfaarbar. You are not acceptable. You are not adequate. Uh, good enough. Nes. Nes there is net soos. Eh? Net soos. Just as you are. If you think you are not acceptable. Just as you are. Stand up. Okay. Stand up. If you have ever cried. Um, because or not, yeah, yourself nie kan verander nie, because you can't change yourself. Verander is change, eh? Heil, cry. Then there's a big space. Okay. Then 
there's a double space there and then a single line here at the end which is important in cake after you've uh, after everyone has stood up according to those criteria those feelings it says and look who feel means to sit noch um you how many people are left sitting okay so how many people are left sitting if everybody who's honest stood up and uh, were honest with themselves or joined this this sort of um, this protest okay so the title is very clear it's a it's a protest I was missing an R there protest and eats it's a protest against something it becomes very clear what it is it says the reader must protest protest here of rebellion teen rebel against negative aspects of the typical teenager's emotional world, emotional life. Okay? And this is a call to action. Why? The Eitrup Teken. It's a call to action. The advice that is dringent. It shows it is urgent. Proclaim to him the obstant. It emphasizes the protest okay emphasizes the the protest stand up you'll see then gets repeated over and over again okay so the obvious question and this is what my notes are basically about here is what what could they pick out as questions what could they ask as questions so stand up what at all um why Let's use a different color here. Um, it proclaimed to in the dringende nood for protest. So it, it emphasizes, if you say that, you'll get your marks. It emphasizes the, the urgent need for protest. And then we are given all the reasons for, for protesting, all, all the criteria. Okay. Uh, and criteria and in Afrikaans is criteria uh, like this criteria I think yeah okay then what I did here is there's, there's a whole lot of lessons built into the the ideas yeah it's basically that the opposite truth so if it says uh, if you've ever been mocked about how you really feel, what's the lesson? Well, um, accept yourself. Don't let other people uh, mock you about who you are. Okay, so that's so I'm just just a bit scared that they would fire that kind of question at you, like what is the moral? Yeah, what is the what is what is the less? What do you learn from this? And then you don't have the vocab to really express that so I did um, did make some notes on that for you um, so I'm just yeah I just have a feeling they're gonna go that way okay so gesport there so when I was talking about mocking over there you see okay as tieners your opinion tieni norm gaan word hulle gesport so this is what happens when a teenager's uh, this is the 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 status quo of what really happens and then there's a lesson okay that we get from it um, if a teenager's opinion goes against the norm they get mocked okay what's the lesson don't be scared to give your opinion even though all is it me even though it's not popular okay even though it's not popular don't be scared to give your opinion so um, yeah maybe it's just some useful vocab I think also as well for this poem okay hello only fun yoni there uh, if if they really got to know you 
they um, they wouldn't like you okay uh, that's there's the sport over there Ston op is the title hey and then the title is there okay uh, hello only for need uh, I just made this note your teenage star a masker they often wear like a social mask um, you don't then show their true selves they want to fit in what's the lesson here okay yes yourself be yourself we hear that all the time be yourself um, accept yourself and the right kind of people will then like you we, we don't want fake people to to like us we don't care what they we don't care what they think okay um, Stan op as jy ooit verwerp voel. If you've ever felt um, ignore, uh, uh, rejected is the word. If you've been um, ostracized. Um, if you've been ostracized or rejected from a group. Uh, what, is it, what does verwerp mean? It's, it's when other people ignore you. Um, they isolate you because they okay, find a reason. They say, "Oh, you too, you too this, you too that, you, you gay, you whatever." Okay, um, unfor yourself in honor so you unfor again. That's the that's the lesson. Accept yourself and how you are, and the other other people, or most other people, will accept you. You'll always find a few that. Um, have issues and they don't accept who you are, but who cares about them? Okay. Then that ellipse is very interesting there. The I, um, ellip, I don't know if it crosses the ellipse, eh? The, the three dots. Okay. Um, there it is. There's your note. It day or what is the, the question would be? What's the function or what is it in a cat? Or I think one question was name two other things that they could reject you for um, okay so it could be anything eh? you're too poor to arm other reasons for verwerping other reasons for rejection you're too poor you are white you are black or you are this or that you're stupid um, you're too dumb you're, stupid, you're a bit slow you're slow or you run you, you run you can't play rugby because you run slow or you're not good at this or good at that or you're too academic or um, if you yeah you can find many reasons to um, to feel that um, to feel rejected. Okay, then stand up as you would on think it. If you've ever thought about uh, interesting line, it's put in quotation marks. Okay, it's on yourself to do. It's on yourself to do. It's a euphemism, they say it's a euphemism, it's a softening, verzachting for self or self do it to pleeg. Um, euphemism for suicide. So stand up if you've never thought of committing suicide. Okay. However, that's the one meaning. Okay, you've got the other meaning here. So it's two, eh? It could also be what someone says to you and with that preposition it works on if you say um, to someone man do it on yourself do something in English it's about yourself not to yourself but in Afrikaans on can mean both okay so it lends itself to both meanings there so that line can refer yes it can be a euphemism for for suicide however it could also mean someone like looks at you and you're like Jeez, um, you're so fat. Do something about yourself, or you so your skin is so bad. Do do something about yourself. Or your hair is looking terrible. Do something about yourself. Okay, so it could also be someone's direct criticism. Work um, about other means to say. Okay, it's also what other people say. Um, and then I'll just put in there. Um, it's. Um, Kritiek van ander persoon. It could be direct criticism from another person. I think it makes sense. I don't, I don't pick it up in a, in a one of the interpretations. I just just uh, sort of 
spotted it. Well done to me. <laughs> um, I hope your teacher agrees with that. Then, staan op as jy dink, daar is net donker in die toekomst. There's, stand up if you think there's only darkness in the, in the future. Um, I don't know if you've read the newspapers lately. But it's pretty literally dark and figuratively dark future ahead of us. Donker toekomst. A negative uitkijk op die toekomst. Donker toekomst. Okay, we are often not very positive about the future here in South Africa. Um, okay, so we all worry about that, I suppose. Okay, so geen, uh, then you geen antwoorde. As you nie antwoorde het, um, there's donker toekomst. If you don't have any answers to life, if, when you uh, become a teenager, you start asking life's big questions. Where did life come from? Where are we going? What's the purpose of everything? Um, what's the right religion, if any? Um, what's the meaning of this? Why, why, why? Um, the, the, big, the big questions in life start to, to bug you. Plus, bug. Okay. For example, is there a card or something? It's one of those big questions. So, and then you'll get confusing and conflicting answers from people who claim to know the answer. Okay, so stand up if you've never protest against that. Okay, stand up as you all wait your pain for other men's We've all had to do this, eh? Uh, hide your pain from other people we we hide it and doesn't go away often what's the lesson often well just the the best thing is to talk to someone about it then you might say well nobody understands <laughs> I think that's the that is the problem okay so hiding pain pain in arts here okay um, Next one, stand up as you think you are not unfavorable as you is. You're not acceptable. You don't accept yourself as you are. Okay, so there's a balance between obviously improving yourself, not being happy where you are, trying to improve yourself, but being overly critical or unrealistically critical. I think that's what it's talking about, yeah. Uh, not giving yourself a break, etc. Tieners voel hulle moet verander om ander mense gelukkig te maak. They must change to make other people happy. What makes my teachers happy? What makes my friends happy? Etc. My parents uh, listen to self. Accept yourself as you are. And it will go a lot better with with you just play the cards you've been given essentially okay stand up as you ooit geheil het if you've ever cried um, what yourself nie kan verander nie this is a particularly painful one I found with teenagers when um, you, you know pop, the pop culture will tell us you can be anything you want to be you just need to work hard and um, well, I'm never going to be a champion 100 meter sprinter, even if I train 8 hours a day, it's not going to happen, I don't have the genetics to run that fast, and often when teenagers realize that there are limitations to what they can do, um, even with hard work, it's quite a sobering, hard hitting um, realization. Um, so if you've ever cried because you can't change yourself, um, for example, uh, your, your, your appearance, your preferences, your sexuality is a big one. Um, often you turn out to be different than the others in terms of your sexuality. How do you, how do you deal with that? You realize, I can't actually change this. It's a lot of, lot of tears, a lot of crying that goes, goes into that accepting your after trying to improve yourself accepting your fate as it were all right uh then you have this big space okay 
meaningful again. Always meaningful. And they skip lines and put lines alone like that. Uh, in cake, so that section there. Alien blasting, funny fashion. It's the um, isolation there of the of the line. Okay. The structure of the poem suggests that everyone stood up. So this line is standing alone. It's only the, the, the narrator left. Um, one interpretation was that there's only one person left um, sitting because it's one line left. Um, I'm, I'm not sure about that. I think everybody got up because we all, surely everyone's felt some of those feelings, if you, even if you wouldn't admit it publicly. Um, so I'm just saying there, the structure of the poem, Sigherir is a nice word, if you can learn to use that, suggests that, useful for literature, that everyone got up. Dalgnet, Ian Vatsit, I just, or maybe it's just one sitting down, it could, could be either. So the theme here, what is the theme of the poem? So this theme is always the central idea eh, that you're taking out of it. Okay. Amal vroeg met probleme. Everyone vroeg is. I can find easy word. Sickle, I suppose. Sickle. Amal sickle met. Everyone struggles with problems of self-esteem, uh, rejection, verwerping, onzekerheid, uncertainty, Depression, feelings of depression, clinical depression sometimes, uh, desperate, uh, desperate, what is desperate? Desperateness, machtlessheid, powerlessness, um, futility. Um, what's the message? We need to rebel against these feelings. Protesteer, rebelleer, teen hier die gevoelens. Against these feelings and unfire yourself, accept yourself and others how they are. Accept yourself, accept others how they are. Um, again, there's no rhyme. Um, the question is why? Why is there no rhyme? Well, it fits with the chaotic, unstructured feelings and emotions of teenagers that whip saw sort of roller coaster effect that your emotion that trick that your emotions play on you when you're a teenager um, fits in with the unstructured nature of the poem so it's your feelings your emotions of teenagers um, fits with the, with the see there's no there's no structure here okay that is pretty much it um, we, I think, my last one for today. <clears throat> then tomorrow we'll, um, we'll, we'll do, I'll post three more by the end of the week. Um, see if we can get them all done. Okay, thanks for your time. Hope it helps. Uh, please buy the books. Uh, just, just buy it. Thank you.